my friends, we accept our books, we accept our lives, and we say, we inspire the church by here to go up there. We want to see you to our generation together. We want to see you to our identity and story. Do you know who you are? Who cares about this? Your resemblance. For every nature of God or God, we are worthy of the name. We are fully loved, we are original in the name, and our activities are the least missing piece from us. Certainly, for the religious leaders, I have seen a week, that perhaps the root of human hypocrisy, of that, of misunderstanding, perhaps the root of unbelief and distrust and pessimism and cynicism uh, or despair is all rooted in our inability to fully accept the image. But I always rejoice. We must reject the need for attention, for possession, for symbols of status and honor. I understand we live in God. For the most expensive places to live in the world, our communities lack a form of health. Our communities lack adequate employment opportunities. And the world that is continuously reminding us that we don't have enough, for the rich and those who have more than enough is what we have. And taking to the eye of the nature to make this world work. But only the very antidote of the problem is a shape of the world. And so how do we find this? Because we know our identity story. 